Spring 716 is our commitment to connect you with job opportunities. If you're on the job hunt this year, a new study says you should get into coding. U.S. News and World Report lists software developers as the best job for 2020. This is the third year in a row that's topped the list. So the rest of the top five jobs are all in healthcare, dentist, physician assistant, orthodontist and nurse practitioner. And it turns out that right now may be the best time for you to start that job search. This time of year, there's a spike in the number of job postings, making January and February the most popular times for people to search for a new job. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Rebecca Thornburg is showing us what you can do to get your search off on the right foot. Rebecca? Feeling sluggish and unmotivated at work? Now may be the time to start looking for a new job. When someone's stuck in a rut and they just maybe are feeling bored in their job or they don't like the culture of the organization, they're not feeling challenged, that's really when you kind of maybe should start thinking about the next opportunity. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics, the unemployment rate in the Buffalo area is at 3.9 percent. That's way down from a decade ago when it was 8.7 percent. Lauren Lewis, a partner at Staff Buffalo, says the job market is great right now, but you should always know what opportunities are out there. I think just having conversations sometimes with people and using your network and learning about different companies or different jobs or what other people do can help you kind of learn more. So what can you do to get your search started? Think about the type of job you'd want, the type of company you'd want to work at, um, the culture, and start maybe researching some companies locally that have what you want. Lewis says you should check out both the company website and site site LinkedIn. They can both help you find jobs and network. Once you do your research, you should sit down with someone at the company to get their perspective. Maybe pick their brain about the job opening, find out more about it, why it's open, if they're interviewing any people, you know, and maybe that person you talk to can help you help get your resume in front of the hiring manager. A part of that job hunt is having an awesome resume to send to prospective employers. And I did a series called Hiring How To's last fall with career coach Kathy Lanzalaco. If you head to the Hiring 716 section of our website, you'll find under the Hiring How To's tab. There are also tips on getting ready for the interview and more about the from the pros to make sure you land that job. OK, so what's the deal here, Rebecca? It seems like unemployment numbers are real low, as you reported, but the job listing posts are real high. What's right. the deal? Well, it's, a lot of people are only staying in their job markets for a little bit. It's not like it used to be where people are staying at a job for 10 years. People are moving around, so people want to change it up, see what's out there, and they're just even searching. Yeah. It doesn't even mean you want to change your job. Just to look is a good idea. It means that some employers also are having a hard time finding staffers as a result, it For seems. Sure. Yeah, 